power out, and basically it just came back on. Joey said, let's do it live. So here we are. We'll wait for a few more people to pop on, see if they want to watch and gather, because I know that generally you guys all like to talk and carry on that st kind of stuff. Uh, if there's any questions that anybody wants to ask, we'll be able to answer them this time because we are live. This is what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm going to try to put a little bit of tape on the 55 Merc. Um, basically, we didn't get no parts painted because of the weather. The power went out. We got them all hung and all that sort of stuff. But uh, that's what's going on. Uh, Joey's chassis is out here. But I'm just going to put run a little tape on the 55 Merc. You can tell me whether you like it, whether you don't like it, all that sort of stuff. And uh, we'll just wait for... A for a few more minutes, see how many more people gather. Are you going to wait a little bit while longer there, Jolene, or go for it? Oh, she's going to share it. She's going to share it, boy. She's going to share it. She's good like that. Jolene looks amazing today. Uh, spent all day with her in, in the dark. <laughs> and she looks still just as good. If you haven't got a chance to vote for her on the Jet Setter, um, if you get a chance, please do. I wouldn't mind seeing Jolene winning. That would just make my day. And what I've done is I've got some cheap tape here. I've got some $2 tape and some cheap, I don't know, you wouldn't call it fine line tape, a quarter inch tape. I guess it's half fine. And we got some wider tape, so hopefully we can tape it off to show what it's going to look like. Um, this car is a 55 Mercury, and if everybody knows a 55 Mercury, the chrome goes down through the center like this. And I think it stops here, and then there's a piece that goes on here, and then the chrome runs under or on top one the other and runs straight back on the quarter panel. Well, I've got some of the stainless, but the stainless is not that good, so, you know, I'm, I'm kind of thinking how do I get past that. I like to use a lot of this stuff. I've got this stuff out. It's, it's uh, let's see what it's called. It's called custom chrome. I call it bad Chad flexible custom chrome is what I call it. But anyways, I use a lot of this stuff. I got it in this, you know, that width. I've got it in all. I got it in eighth. Uh, there's some I've got in three quarter. There's three quarter width. I use it a lot when I need to chrome something. I did a video one time on how to chrome a bumper, and it kind of I just kind of kept layering it on the bumper after I painted it. And it made it look like a Briz bumper. And if you look at what a Briz bumper is, it's got the little ribs in it. And uh, it looks pretty cool. I mean, for the money and the time, uh, you would not know. And I can tell you why, because I smashed up my car. They called Way to Heaven. Uh, the bumper got bent. He replaced the bumper with a new price of a Briz bumper, and I got the money out of it. And I, and I actually had done it with the fake chrome. So he did not know either, which I was very happy with. I got more money out of my car than I was you know, thinking I was going to get, but it worked out good. I enjoy it too because you can take it off with a heat gun. You can just take it off if you want to. You can put it back on. I've also dressed up Jolene's Suburban with a little bit of chrome down along the running board, you know. She loved me that day. Poof! She loved me. Got some, got some people on watching? All right, let's go. What I'm going to do is, or what, I, what I'm thinking is, I like the color black, I like the color coral, and I want some, some white. Um, I really enjoy the Canadian version of the 56 Ford. Uh, the Canadian version has stainless that runs down like this, and then it runs up, and, and it makes like a further thunderbolt on the side of the car, and it runs down the middle here, and then there's a small piece of chrome that runs along here, and then meets it up at the front. Uh, basically, this car never came with that. But I, I sort of want to put it on this, and uh, it does not matter where the chrome runs or what's going on because um, I can tape it off any way I want to, and that's what I'm going to do. So I've got some tape. I've got some fine line tape here. I'm going to try it with this first. So basically what I'm going to do is, you can see it's got holes here. I've got holes here for stainless here. Uh, I had a guy working for me one time. I had some holes along here, and he kind of <laughs> mudded right over top of me before I said, no! And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do here, there yet. Don't know what I'm going to strip it back out, or don't know what I'm going to do yet. Just don't know. Um, but the st I do have stainless for here and the fender. It's kind of wrinkled up a little bit. I could get it fixed, or I could fix it myself. But I'm thinking I like the idea of the thunderbolt. So basically, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to try to run a thunderbolt on the side of the car, not worrying about anything, and then we'll just make it look the way we want to. So. Uh, Basically, what I'm going to do is, ouch, 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to run it down here first on the 56 Ford, the Canadian version. Uh, on the 56 Ford, it has the wide piece comes down here, goes along this, this area, and then I think it kicks down like that and then kicks back up. Well, on the Ford, on the Canadian version, it has a little piece of, I'd say, quarter inch chrome. It's very expensive, I know, because a friend of mine had bought it. It runs up here and it follows the wide stuff here and then it kicks down and it goes up and meets it and puts like a thunderbolt on the side. It does not give, it gives a little bit of paint on the door it does, it gives a little bit of paint up here, but I'm going to put some paint up here too because I can, I'm taping it off, it's my choice, it's, it's my car and I can cry if I want to. So anyways, I'm going to put a little bit up there, I keep tripping over that. So let's run a little tape. That tape's no good. <laughs> Just pulled that off and it ripped. So we'll get into the new stuff. It's $2. I didn't want to get into the, the heavy stuff. And what I mean by the heavy stuff is the $7 or $8 stuff. It gets quite expensive sometimes. So if you can buy the cheaper tape to mock something up, that's what I do. That's what I do. Alrighty, see if I can find the end of this stuff. See if we can't make something look like what I want it to look like. I might need Jolene's assistance already. I can't get this off. Here, Jolene. See if you can get that started for me. Please and thank you. I got some right here, actually. All right, this is what I'm going to do. Run it right now. I'm going to run it on this line here because this line actually is here. I may as well use it. Also, on this car, I have the stainless steel that runs down around here and runs up to the back of the window. I, that's on the Mercury too, you can get that. Don't know if I'm going to use it yet or not. But here we go. i run some tape. And I'm just going to run this fairly quick. I have a piece of tape in my way there. So this is where I'm thinking that the Thunderbolt Where the thunderbolt might come in nice is right along this area here. Let's see what happens. And this is kind of wide tape for this, but we'll just make it work. That thin stuff is too thin. Or not too thin, it's just not good tape. It just keeps ripping every time I pull it off. So on the 56 Ford, it runs down and then kicks back up and goes back through here. Just trying to keep that in my own brain, I am. Just trying I'm going to take, I have a piece of stainless that goes on the bottom of the quarter panel here. Let's see if this is it. I guess that's the one for that side. I'm going to stick that on just for, just for, for giggles, shits and giggles, just so I know what's going on. I'm going to use that piece of stainless, I think. Stick that on like that. Hmm. So basically, this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking. I'm going to start down here. This is a good spot. This is where it bulges out right here. And uh, I'm going to start there, I guess. Why not? And if I don't like it, I'll just rip it back off. Don't know where I'm going yet. Bear with me. Bear with me. Because I can't see what I'm doing yet. Don't know if that's where I want it yet or not. So what's going on with this car, the fender, the fender used to come up here. I welded a piece of metal on here and bring this fender lip down further and made a wheel lip that went all the way around. Don't know if that was a smart choice. That's what I wanted to do though. So I just did it. So basically right now, as that chrome or as that piece of tape is on there, that would look like a 56 Mercury. That would be a 56 Merc. But there was a piece that went here um, and I haven't got it. I have not got it, and besides, I probably do not have it because it has pitted, and it's full of 
pits and all that sort of stuff and I probably wouldn't want to use it anyways. So basically guys, I got that going there. Let's make the Thunderbolt first. Let's make the Thunderbolt. I need my lovely assistant. We'll just go with that for a second. We'll stick that on there so I can drag it. Just sticking this on there. I can rip it off at any time. Yes, I can. That don't look too bad, though, you know. What I've got going on up here is I've got... That's not bad, actually. Where it's going on here at the light... That's perfect, actually. The, the headlight bezel, I can cut where the headlight bezel stops here. That's when I can run the, run the paint right, right straight across. Or I can bring this up. Hmm. Or I can bring this to meet this. And that way there, the paint that's on the bottom can come right straight across there. I can do that. Well, let's just make the back first. I just want to make a thunderbolt back here. You'll see what I mean by thunderbolt here in a second. Yes, sweetheart. Oh, you must be talking to Fina. What's that, sweetheart? We don't. It doesn't matter how many. Not to me, anyways. Just gonna stick that on there. Nice to stand back and. Fire up the best you can. Does that look good, sweetheart? So I'm just making a thunderbolt. So basically, um, it does not matter what's there. It's not flat like the 56 Ford. does not matter. And basically what I'm looking for is if it looks good or not. And where it ends, where it comes up here, I could end it right at the bottom of the headlight door. And then that will cut it off so I can have the bottom paint right up to the bottom of the headlight door. That's probably what I'm gonna do. I might pull this up a little bit, bring this line up a little bit so they can end right here. Then I can bring the bottom paint right around to the bottom of this. And then it can do all the front and I can cut it off right at the bottom of the headlight door. See what happens. I just wanna check this out for a second. So basically I'm just designing what I wanna paint the car to look like. And it takes a little bit of looking. A little bit of looking. I'm going to take I'm going to take this top line up a little further because I'm at the bottom of the headlight door right now. So I'm going to run another piece of tape. I'm going to run it right on top of this one. And I'm going to bring this one up to here. So that way there I can end it at the headlight door. If I do it now, I got a little, probably an inch of where it's underneath the headlight door. I don't want that. I do not want that. So I'm going to do this. Let's put a piece on top of it, and then we'll rip that piece off. Now this is a 55 Merc. It did not have this paint scheme on it. A 56 Ford, yes, Canadian version had this scheme on it, but the quarter panels are totally different. But it does not matter because I have a piece of tape to make it the way I want it. If that makes sense. So now I can rip this piece off. That gets me underneath the, the headlight door. I have to have some place to end it and cut it off. I don't want to end it in the middle of this. I want to end it at the bottom of that door. Or that bottom of that headlight door. That's what I'm thinking. Don't want to waste that, but it's not long enough for what I want. Did you get the other piece of the other tape started, Spear? If I need your hand, you'll come in and give me a hand. She said she'd give me a hand, boys. So basically what I'm going to do, you can see where I'm trying to end it right there. That's where I'm trying to end it. So I'm going to bring this line up to here, and then when that paint comes in here, whatever paint it is, uh, underneath here can end off right underneath the headlight door. So I'm going to bring that right up to there. Try to. No, I'm not going to try to. I am. Let's do it again. I'm going to take 
No, I don't I want to leave that piece on there to be honest with you. See what we can do here. See if we can't run it. It's hard to do with there but it's kind of wobbly down the side isn't it huh? kind of wobbly down the side baby will you come stick that on the second hole for me please just stick your finger on the second hole there second hole yeah that one that's okay all right I'm gonna try that thank you sweetheart it's my lovely assistant Jolene. Now, if you have a paint scheme for this car and you'd like to share it, I'd more than lovely like to see it. Don't want the bottom one. I need a razor blade. I'm just going to cut that off. I have to block sand this car out, sand this car, prime it again. So if I score it with a razor blade, that's fine. And you know how we'll catch it with guide coat. That's how we'll catch it. In other words, mean by catch it is see it. Never seen tape want to stick to something so bad in all its life when it's not even good tape. I have not. Already I'm thinking something like that. Stand back and take a look at it. So now I've got my thunderbolt down the side. I don't care about the holes because it is, you know, it's going to be what it's going to be. I'm going to paint it the way I want it, no matter if there's holes in the side or not. I'll weld the whole shot. I'll fill over them. I'll do whatever. But as you can see up the front here, where the headlight door is ended, that's where the paint will end. And then I'll be able, this color here on the bottom will come around and paint the front where this Dagmar is and all this stuff will come, this will be painted all the way around and cut off right, right, <coughs> right here where the headlight door is. So I can end the paint right there. Headlight door, that'll be, what, this will be the color up top, but this will this be able to end right here, that little, I'll end it right there, that's it. So this will be whatever color it wants to be here, and then the top color will be what it wants to be here, and then this color will be a different color. So this is my Thunderbolt. That's looking basically what I'm thinking that I wanted. It's kind of, I'm going off the Canadian Ford is what I'm going off of. Also, now that, now that I'm looking at it, this chrome that I have, <clears throat> I have some chrome in here. And I've been playing with it in my brain, just playing with it in my brain. Now you can get quarter inch chrome, you can get quarter inch chrome, you can get uh, one eighth chrome, you can get, I think this would probably be half inch or maybe probably half inch flat that is, probably half inch flat. I can take a piece of, I can go with, I don't think I'd go one eighth around it. But there's one eighth chrome that I could go around it after I paint it. I could do it one eighth chrome. I could pinstripe it either color that's on the top or the bottom. I can switch it up and do that if I want it to. So I'm thinking of having one color down here. That's all one color. And then up here, that's all one color. So this is going to be a different color. I got three colors: white. Uh, what's the color called? Clipso coral and black, so it can either be black, clipso coral, and white, or it can be either other or. It can be clipso coral, it can be white, it can be black, or it can be clipso coral, black, white, black, if it wants to be. I can get three different colors in it. 
even though this is, well, what can I say? I'm kind of taking off a Ford and putting it onto a Mercury. I, I just like that look. I also have some chrome here, so I have, a, I have an idea. We have this, this space here that we do not, you know, this space here could, I could do something with. I could use this chrome. This chrome is hard to, the one-eighth stuff and the quarter-inch stuff, you can bend it around here quite, quite, you know, if you take a heat gun to it and, and bend it first. I don't have any over there, do I? Quarter inch. Do I have any quarter inch? Be nice to show it if I had it. But it's about as big as my my baby fingers. But like that, it's half round. Uh, you can use it on top. You use it on top of wheel wells for moldings and stuff like that. <clears throat> you can take a little heat gun and, and heat it up and bend it and bend it and bend it and get it in shape before you put it on. It sticks really nice. But I could outline that and make that. But I'm thinking that if I took, I got a little space right here. I see um, on the 56 Ford it had. It has a piece of chrome about that wide and had four pieces of chrome running down through it. So if I took this stuff here, I'll just show you. How many have we got there? Let's, let's just cut a little bit off here. I'll just, cut, I'll just cut a few pieces off. And what I use, I like to use a pair of, I, I think these are for like cutting vinyl siding or whatever just to, a shear of some sort. So I'm just going to cut a bunch. Just check it out. This stuff is left over from something else. I also have a little shear in there. You can cut it with that. It's pretty basic stuff to cut. We'll cut four or five pieces. And I like this stuff. I mean, let's face it, it's chrome. Um, it's not, it's not stainless or anything like that, but it, it stays nice. Um, it's got 3M tape on the back of it. Um, I've used it quite a bit and uh, it looks good. I have no problem with it, with, with, with it whatsoever. It's good shit. Excuse my licorice. Also, this is what I'm thinking. On the Ford, it had it going back this way. I'm thinking about running it this way. I've got a, a straight area here. Take and take some tape. You got that tape over there geared up to you, baby? Thanks, sweetheart. I'm just gonna stick this on here. Just for whatever. You wanna go back and hold that for me, sweetheart? Just pluck it on there. Um, let's, let's pluck it on like down about here somewhere. Or actually, this is what I wanna do. If I give you, just one second, we'll say 56 Ford had four pieces, four pieces, let's say four. And also, if you check this out, it's got that end cut on a 45. Um, I can fit that right in against that and I can cut them to fit that nice round circle there so it looks really nice. And, and uh, you can even take a little, a little grinder and you can shape the edge of it off so it fits in there nice. You can't tell what the end looks like. I want one. So if this is the paint, so the, this, so the, whatever's inside the green would be the paint and whatever the green is is gonna be top color. This is gonna be bottom color, you know? So we'll go, that'd be one, two, three, four. Okay, so we'll just take our tape. You'll hold it there. Okay, you got her? So she's gonna hold the tape. This is just what I'm playing with in my brain right at the present moment just because, um, what's that say? It's my party and I can cry if I want to. What if you come up and touch it by the other end of the door for me, please? And then I can. That's just a guess. Will you do that for me, baby? Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these just so we can see what it's gonna look like. All right, we can just, let's come in here and cut this like this. That, that, don't, that don't fit too bad. Just so we show, show how it fits. Let's tear that one off. I'm just gonna get Jolene to tear the tape off. 
She's quicker at it than I am. And this is just, and what I would do is I would run it, what I'm thinking is I'm going to run it the full length of the car. And basically what I'm doing is I'm taking what they did and I'm just going the other way with it. So I'd have to, I'd obviously have to cut that and put a little piece there and then do the door and then cut each one as it goes. But that's the way I'd do it. We'd make each piece fit around that, just, just for shits and giggles. Man, you're quick. She's quick, boy, she's quick. I think I gotta slow down on the beer. It's getting to me. I'm getting the belly. I think I gotta slow down on it. All right, let's do another one. And this is something that you'd have to stand back and take a look, look at it. But basically, I'm showing you exactly what is going through my head for the paint scheme of Elvis. And the three colors are black, cor Clipso Coral, Clipso Coral, and Wimbledon White. Wimbledon White's an off-white, I'm pretty sure. And this stuff is not, not hard to put on. Basically, what happens is, is I'll run, not hard to put on, it's just, like that. Uh, I'll run a piece of tape, and then I'll run it. I'll run the first one, and then you just run the second one with it. So the first one, I'd run it on the edge of the tape to run a, run a line. I'll run my first one right on the edge of the tape. And then the second, the second, third, fourth, I'd run with what's going on. I'd make that fit there. I think I might like more than four. Try. I'll cut it. I'll get another one cut. Look at that. I got another one cut, baby. And like, I don't have to. It's this is not big money. Um, this is this is reasonable priced stuff. Um, I don't have to. I can put it anywhere I want to. The quarter inch stuff or the eighth inch stuff. I can bend it and go along that if I want it to. Uh, the stuff here, I can run it in straight lines. You can run it any way you want to. That's not exactly how I'd have it run there. And also, as I'm putting this on here, I'm cutting it with a pair of shears. I might have to take a grinder in a little. in a little flapper wheel like this. This one's beat up, obviously. A grinder and a flapper wheel like that, and just come in, I can shape it, any shape I want to. Um, just make sure your grinder's going the right way, tearing it down, not off. And I can show you, but I haven't got. All right, let's peel that off. I'm gonna pull this. Eh, should I pull the tape off or leave it on? Probably show the better of the, of the, what the, the effect, would it not? Thank you. So, this is what I'm thinking. So I'd have paint, different color paint, four or I can have three, I can have four, I can have five, I can have however I want. I'm going to run right straight to the front, just like this. Run right straight to the front. Four of them right in a row. Run it all the way up, just like so. And I would, that would sort of mimic what's going on on the 56 Ford, but I'd have it coming forward instead of going back. And that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm basically going for. I, I like, like I said, I like the Thunderbolt going on here. Um, just because I do not have this piece, do not have the stainless, doesn't mean I can't paint it on there. I've seen a car, when I went to San Francisco, me and Jolene, we, there was an old car that had, uh, it had a small little door on it, but the paint job made it look like it had a great big door. You remember that? 
and it had a design on the side of it, and you walked up and said, wow, what a big door in that. And then you got looking at it, and, well, the door was only half of what the design was, basically. Also, you look at the Delahays, how they have that big th swoop coming down that comes around and does whatever it does. Um, they just painted on whatever they wanted to paint on to make it look the way they want it to look. And uh, that's what I'm going to do with this car. I'm not sh you know, I'm, I, I think about flames, and I think about scallops, and I, and I think about that sort of stuff. But for, for this car, I have done so much customizing on it, I don't think it needs any of that stuff, to be honest with you. I'd sort of like to make it, um, wow, did they come like that, sort of, you know? But, it, you know, it didn't, obviously, because of the fr way the front end looks, the way the hood fits, that sort of stuff. And it didn't have, no cars ever really came with the mufflers underneath the bottom. But I still want to have that 50s look. So this, this is my thought. I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Calypso curl, coral <laughs> down the bottom. I showed you the color the other night. It's a little pinkier than that. I'm thinking of Clipso Coral down the bottom. I'm thinking black for the Thunderbolt. Then I'm thinking four or five strips of chrome right to the front. And I, I can cut my paint off, so that means that this will be Clipso Coral all the front from below the headlight will be Clipso Coral. This will be all Clipso Coral down around the front to the bottom of the headlight. I'll cut it off at the headlights. Thunderbolt black. This is the Thunderbolt here. And then a white top, and, and I'm not sure, but it, I could go with a black top, black roof, or a, not sure yet, but there's clips of coral, black, white. Uh, Jolene was saying how I could do the dash, you know, the top of the dash would be white. I could tape this pot off here and do it a different color, and uh, it's a good thought. But uh, basically, that's it. That's what I'm thinking I'm going to do Elvis-like, and uh, we have some pictures that was sent in by... Ben Hartman, and thank you very much, Ben. You got me up here doing this, and uh, I appreciate it because we had nothing to do today. We couldn't do anything. We couldn't paint nothing. We couldn't really do anything, really, with powers out. I could chase Jolie around the house, get the heat going, but, uh, you know, that only lasts so long. <laughs> um, but that's what I think I'm going to do. It would be nice to run the chrome all the way along there. You, re you would really get the effect, once I ran that chrome, the whole length of it, what it would really look like. And uh, it, it will have no dents in it. <laughs> um, it'll wash nice. It'll be brand new. And it's stick on. Like it's, it's basically, I can stick it on the car and uh, I, I will have no issues with it unless I want it peeled off. When you put it on your paint, you, you really want to make sure that you're, you've sanded your primer and you've, your paint has applied because it has quite an adhesion once it lays on something that's very clean. So you really want to be careful that way. But that's what I'm thinking right there all in a handbag. This stuff around here on the, on the tops of the doors. You have to remember on this car, I did, I did not get no stainless. I did not get no glass, no, no nothing. I got the bare shell with the bare necessities. And I have to, I'm coming up with this stuff because I haven't got the stuff. Or I'm not going to find this piece here to go get it chrome, not doing that. I'm not going to get the steering wheel and the, the dash pad. I'm not going to get that chromed. I'm not doing that. I'm not spending that money on that. I'm taking it in my own hands and using some of the stainless. I've, I've cut the stainless for the roof already. I'm using some of the stainless that I have that I think is in fairly good shape. Like I probably will use this. As you can see, I could paint the roof a color and I could leave this up here white. So this is all being white up the top. I could bring it white up to here and then I could change the roof. I could put a vinyl roof on it. I could do, there's so many things I could do. But everything I'm doing to this car, I'm doing with it what I have, what I think I can use to make it look as new and as nice as possible. And uh, I do not mind using the stick on chrome because I've used it so many times and, and when it goes down the road and people, when it's up close, when people look at it, 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 really, gets, uh, it really gets everybody you know, wondering how that was done, where'd you get it, how'd you do that? So basically, uh, I'm trying to, you can also, I've also done this. I've taken uh, this, like say this chrome, say on like, just for example, on a, on a Mercury, you have, you have the sill plates. These, there, there's a piece of stainless that runs down along the bottom, and uh, there's a, I think there's a fender guard there. You know, I'm talking original stuff, original uh, stainless that runs along the bottom. That's why I put these on there, because I wanted that, but I didn't have it, 
and I could buy this to take the place of the chrome that ran along the bottom. I could buy this, take the place of it, and just make it look as good, and get the exhaust out of it. So I kind of was playing a game there where um, I spent some money on the exhaust, and it took place of that sill molding, and I also got my exhaust system out of it. But on the sill molding, they have those sill moldings. It has a flat spot, and then it has a round spot. It has a flat spot, then it has a round spot. Well, you could take that chrome that I put on there, and then you can get the 1 8 stuff. There's, I, I got a bunch of that 1 8 stuff. I'm not sure why, but I do. And I, and I use it whenever I can, wherever I want to. Not whenever I can, but whenever I want to. There's the 1 8 stuff. Now you, if, sorry about that. There it is there. Now you can run that, and then run one of these, and then run one of those, and then one of these, and you can get that effect of a, of a brand new chrome sill on your 55 or 56 Mercury um, for probably 50 bucks, and do both sides, and have it shinier and then the stainless, and not have it beat up, and not have that big screw drill through it. <laughs> because many people have, you know, to keep that sill plate on, drilled that hole in it. But to make a sill plate, I can, I can come along here and I can make a sill plate out of that stuff and this stuff by just looking at the shape and the different sizes that comes in and I can make it run one, one length and then run another one that one, then run one of those and run one of those. And you just bring it up and you do the exact same thing. You cut it off to where it looks good. Uh, you don't always have to use the, the cutters, you can use these right here. I uh, use them, it's not, not obviously not that wheel, but you just take your time, put it on something, you can shape it. I'm gonna shape them all around here and I will make them fit like, like nobody's tomorrow. You, you won't even know, I'll angle them off, I'll back 45 them and slide them up on that, on that panel and you will not know. I also can run the quarter inch round on the outside of this and outside of that. I can do that if I want to. Basically, you can do whatever you want to, and uh, yeah. Also, I have the dash pod in here. Yeah. Anyways, I have the dash pod in here. I'm going to have to do something with that. I'm going to have to do something with that, and, and guarantee you me, I'm going to probably sand it down. I'm going to prime it. I'm going to paint it, and I'm going to use that bad chad flexible chrome and I'm gonna make something on that so it looks very, very, very nice. Watch yourself, sweetheart. I'll make it look like it was brand new. When you looked in the car and you did not know, you would not know, and you would think, wow, that looks like, that looks good. Top of, I, this top of this muffler, because I didn't like how it went to the car. Uh, this, this muffler, it bolts on the side of the sill because that's what I wanted to take place of the sill plate. I could also run chrome along that and shape it and make it finish it off if I want to. So I'm giving, what's that? Sure, let's show some pictures. Anybody have any questions at all? I can answer the questions. Anybody want to ask a question? I can answer it. And this will be the, probably the time that we're doing live. Um, and the reason being is we had the power out. We did not want to let down our YouTubers, did we, baby? No. Here's some pictures. Uh, ben Hartman sent he he showed me some pictures of the different colors so we got a coral bottom black and then a white roof see and this is a piece right here that i was talking about uh, is pot metal uh, to get one of those all done and fixed don't have it there's the sill plate i was talking about i can make a sill plate out of that flexible chrome yes i can i yes i can go ahead let's show the next one Cool, eh? That looks nice. I like that. This is a 56. It has a stainless running down like that. Do not have that stainless, but I really enjoy what he done there, you know? I, I just like this part up here and, and going straight down. It runs with the top of the back on that. Um, you can see how it's got the fingers in it there in the, in the pop metal on there. It also has a sill plate on it. You can make that if you want. Let's try the second one. Another one. Now, this one here, this one here is looking, I, I really like, it looks, what can I say? It just pops 
I, I think it pops more than the rest. I think it, with the coral and the white and, and the little bit of black, and that's what I'm thinking for Elvis, is I'm thinking the coral on the bottom, coral on the bottom, all the way up the quarter panel, the black thunderbolt with the chrome going this way instead of going that way, just changing it up a little bit. We still got, you know, we still got the ribs. You would, I'd say, like, you probably, you probably, where'd you get that chrome at, you know? Once I get that done, that's, what, that's going to be a lot of the questions. Where did you get that chrome at? Well, I made it. And then you say, well, how did you make it? Also, on the top of the doors, I used three-quarter inch square tubing because I did not have any of the doors or windows or the, the, I don't know, the vent window. did not have any of that stuff. So I took three-quarter inch, three inch square stock. I slid it inside the door, cut the opening. I've got, I got some of this uh, from, a, from a restoration a guy had left over. This stuff will slide right inside of that three-quarter inch. The, it's the felt. It'll slide right inside of that. I'm going to cut this, and I'm going to put it in there, and then I'm going to chrome the top of my doors myself. I'm going to chrome all this. I'm going to chrome all this. I'll chrome the back window. I'll put all the felts in the windows. I'll do it all myself with stuff that I've used out of my brain. This is almost like playing arts, arts and crafts. It's the exact same thing. And... Uh, I do not have the stainless. I do not want to spend the money on that chrome. I do not want, I do not want a 55 Merc that looks like every other Merc. I want something that's mine. And uh, basically, that's what I had. That's what I did because I didn't have any of it, and I went for it. That's basically what I'm doing. Like I said, I deleted some stuff in the dash because I did not want to try to fix it. Did not want to try to fix the steering wheel. I'm just making my own. You can see we can do that clipso curl, coral, and we can do the the steering wheel itself white and I think it'll look amazing but anyways what was I on to I was doing this you know chrome I will chrome the top of the windows myself for barely any money and it'll look just as good as someone's stainless it'll look just as good I guarantee it but I'm really liking this one I think it pops then we have this one here Exact same thing. I even like the caps you get on it. Nice. But this is sort of my, this, I'm sort of my favorite, sort of. And also on, on Elvis here, right underneath this headlight, we have made a bunch of metal work that goes along there. It's got a 60 Chrysler bumper on it because I, I have a 60 Chrysler and I took the bumper off it when I built the car. That's what I had. That's what I used. But I'm going to have some clips. I'm going to have some coral down right here. i got to stop calling it that. I'm going to have some coral down long here. And uh, I think it'll make it look nicer in the front end with two-tone in the front with just a chrome bumper and the white. So I'll have coral down here and I have white. And the, and the bumper or the, the grill has a little bit of black out in it with the chrome. So it should be really nice. I, I like them all, but I really like the three-tone ones, and I like the Thunderbolt on the side. Mercury's never had the Thunderbolt, but this Mercury Elvis is the one he's getting is going to have the Thunderbolt. I'm pretty sure. No, I'm positive. <laughs> But anyways, that's, that's where I'm going with it. And if you can use that stuff or you think of any use for that, that chrome stuff, I did a bumper. I did a bumper exactly the same way. I take a, uh, what you call a blade. I don't know if you know what I mean by a blade. It's a bumper, like a, a 30s blade. I call them, look like a blade. And uh, you can layer them like that. And at the end, you cut them round. You just layer them on, then you can cut them round, take your little grinder and shape them, and uh, clean it all off. It'll look like a Briz bumper. Like I said, you can make a Briz bumper for 50 bucks if you want to. It's up to you. If you don't, if you don't want to, that's fine. Um, I've also seen 49, 50 Mercs. They, they take the bumpers right off them, and they close that in. Well, that chrome, you can roll, wrap right around that. You could Briz bumper on a, on a 49 or 50 Merc when they close that front end off without the bumpers. There's so many things on, even on this stuff. This is, this is a piece that goes in on the dash. Here it goes on to the dash, and the chrome goes in the middle of the dash, and it runs into this piece, and this piece is chrome. Well, if I want to chrome this piece, I guarantee you I can chrome that piece. I, I guarantee it. I'll take some one eighth and I'll go around it. I'll chrome it. I'll layer it. I'll do whatever I have to do to get it done. And basically, 
is what I'm showing you is my paint job and my secret that I do. So I guess it's not a secret, but it's something you can do, or if you don't want to, that's fine. I'm only showing you my process. I'm only showing you what I'm going to do. And uh, you can do it too if you want to, if you have an idea. If you have the 55 that don't have this down the side and you want that, well, you can do that with that. You can bend it. You can, not the square stuff, the round, the three quarter rounds you can, you can bend. And uh, basically, that's about it. The chrome on the back of the windows. That'll all be done with this. This is not, I think I got some three quarter inch round right here. See this three quarter inch, and you can see the shape of it. That's three quarter inch round. Now, that's going to do my windows, just like that right there. So now, when I put my back windows in, I will have looked like my windows are chromed all the way around, but it's actually going to be this. Don't hate me, just love me. Huh? Don't hate me. Just, you know, just go with it. If you like it, use it. If you don't like it, it does not matter. Um, so like even, like I said, on the sill plates, you can make that, you can make sill plates if you have a 50s car or if you even have a whatever kind of car and you want a sill, nice sill plate going down there, take two different types and go for it. One, what's that? We did that on the Cadillac. Yes, we did. On the Cadillac, on, on the Chadillac, on the roll bar. We had somebody ask, well, how did you chrome that roll bar? How did, how did you get a sill plate that big? I don't know what to say. The car was at SEMA. Nobody came up to me and said, ooh, I don't like that. Not in a, it, was, it was quite, it was taken quite well, you know what I mean? Um, we've had people call us and ask us, how did you get that round piece made out of aluminum? Well, we didn't make it out of aluminum. We, we chromed it with that. We might have used smaller stuff. It took me a little bit of time to get it on there and make it look nice, but that's what I did. Um, no one said a word. I don't think anybody knew, and it didn't matter if they knew because it is what it is. <clears throat> on that Cadillac, when we chopped it in half and uh, we shortened it two feet, I, I, I decided to make the sills much thicker because of the simple fact that we cut it in half. I did not, when the roof, we tied it together with the, the roll bar in the center. We made the big square tubing go down the middle and then we put a piece in it. And that was more for tying it together and make it look, give it that look. But also we made the sills, about, I think they're about 10 inches wide, 10 inches wide where, where they were not. We made them come up here where we sectioned the doors. We cut the doors off and we made the sill that much higher. And we made, sill plates with this flexible chrome. One, one this size, one a little bigger. One this size, one a little bigger. And when you look at that car, if you want to look at that car, that car looks amazing. It does, I can, looks amazing. What's that, sweetheart? Okay, sure, let's show a picture of it. So we had somebody get a hold of us and ask us how we did that, and um, that's how we did it. All right, so you can see the roll bar, obviously. There we go. Are you able to bring that up big? Now you can see the sill plate on that. It has one small piece, one big piece, one small piece, one big piece, or I thought it did anyways. But anyways, that is the sill plate that I made with that, with that chrome. Um, all this top of this window, we didn't have chrome for that. We had no money for that. There was a budget when it comes to this sort of stuff, man. Um, if I'd scare you with the budget that we had. Um, what we were building with, but that's, that's, that's who I am. Uh, the roll bar uh, was done with that, um, and, it's, and it's never going bad. It's, it's, a, it's a plastic chrome, and it's, it, there's no, it's not going anywhere other than um, on the car. Now you can see I've got the window on this bad boy all lined in chrome, and it's just layered chrome to make it look the way it had to look. Uh, the sill, you can see how thick the sill is. We sectioned the bottom of the door to make the sill thicker because the car was cut in half. The dash was pinstriped in it. It was pinstriped in chrome. 
to give it that look. The, the window was layered in it to make it look like that. I even did the chrome around the window for it. Did not have the budget to have that stuff. Where do you get that stuff made unless you, you know, become creative? Also, when you want to make something like um, the bumper, that's how you make a bumper. Exact same thing. If you want to make a bridge bumper, you use whatever chrome you want to use. There's the roll bar. Um, the roll bar, I used a different side of chrome and I did the roll bar. It took me time, but that's what we were doing. We were building cars for customers that um, we figured that the car that they so desired or so needed, TV was TV. What we had to do was build the cars. Um, we had a certain amount of time, which I, was 35 days, and we had a budget, obviously. Um, and we did, you know, we did it all. We, we got them done, and we stayed on budget. And basically, uh, that's what we did. That's what I do here full time. And that's why I build things the way I do, because I keep, try to keep the price down, and it makes, it makes things happier in the end, that you haven't got so much money wrapped up in something. Just, just like this. What's it cost for a sill plate for a 55 Mercury? I bet you can't get a set of sill plates or sill moldings less than $500. A nice set of sill moldings. I bet you can't get them less than $500. Well, I can make the exact same thing that is more shinier and quicker and have no holes in them for 50 bucks. It's up to you, you know what I mean? Um, just because it's not the original piece, it does not matter to me. Look at look what I do to the damn things. I cut, put 60 Chrysler bumper on and I put Dagmars on the front of it. I got a, a 202 Dodge grill on it. I use what I have, I do what I want to make me happy. And uh, you can do the exact same thing. How's that? How's that? Any questions at all? I know that sometimes there were questions people want to ask questions they never got a chance to. And if they want to ask a question, I'd answer it up quick as in. Jolene, you happy with your chassis? Jolene's happy with her chassis. We got some stuff to paint in here. Oh, there's frogs. Got the, got the rear end hung up, got all the pieces hung up. This took some time to get sanded. Yes, it did. It took some time to get that sanded. But we got her hung up there. We'll get it blown off. Tomorrow we'll probably get at it. And uh, we'll paint these pieces and then we'll have these pieces painted. We still have to order stuff. That's, that stuff slows you down when you have to order things. Hello, Fina. Don't do it, Fina. You're on camera. Don't do it. Oh, yes. Um, Joe Sousa and Aiden sent money in for, no, sent, Bubba. and Bubba sent money in for Aiden to get a body hammer, and Jolene will make sure that he gets a body hammer. That's one thing she'll do. And we have to thank, like, I mean, Sousa donated some money, money the other night. We, thank you very much, man. Uh, we appreciate it. We'll buy coffee and we'll cheers to you. And uh, we won't have a Coke, we'll have a Pepsi. Right? But anyways, that's, that's me for tonight. Um, that's what we could do to keep the YouTube going. Uh, we had to do it live, live, live because where power was out, out, out. And uh, I showed you or I told you my, my secret to my chromin and I do what I have to do. Also, there's a piece of chrome that goes in the center of that dash that runs all the way along the center of the dash and meets up with this piece. If it does not look like I want it to, I'll do it myself. Basically what I'm saying, I'll cut it and do it myself. Take your little grinder and shape it. We'll shape them up just perfect so they go around there, run some chrome along that, that driving down the road with three, three colors of paint on it. They'll be wishing at Jolene probably, not, not the car, but um, that's basically what I think I'm gonna do. And if I do not decide to put this on there, I still have my three colors that I want, and I do not have to do what the car says I have to do. I can tape it off any way I want to because it was never taped off this way before. No, it wasn't. Um, I, I, I'm taking it, just like I say in life, you take from people what you think you like, and whatever you don't like, you throw it away. Um, I like what, 50, what Ford did, or what Canadian Fords did, Mercury's, I think, whatever they're called, Meteors. I like what they did with the Thunderbolt. I really do. I like a 56 Ford, but I like the Thunderbolt on the Ford cars just a little bit better, and I'm taking it. 
And I'm also, I also like the big piece of stainless that runs down here in the 56 Ford. I'm taking that tube and I'm running it that way. So I'm taking what I like and putting it wherever I want. Exact same thing in life. Let's give away a hat or a shirt. Let's do it, baby. What do I have to do? Yep, you can see, you can see smaller and bigger, smaller and bigger. I know I did it. But anyways, we made the sills bigger on that car because, it, you know, we, I just thought in my head that I wanted more integrity back on um, the car than, than, than we took out. What's that, sweetheart? We're going to do it on yesterday. Okay, we're going to do it on yesterday's video. And we will probably not do this live like this again because, oh, Jolene said, we'll see how it goes. The boss just spoke. We'll see how it goes. But... Um, it's kind of, we didn't, ha we didn't have the time to do it. Um, it was 5.30 before the power got back on or before we got dug out of the driveway. I swamped the truck before this. I guess I did. Grrr. 560 comments. Thank you very much, everybody. We appreciate it. There's some wild comments sometimes, I'm telling you. That looks like a nice car. 30-some Ford on there. Most builders want to show off their awesome welds on the frame and suspension. Awesome, that's great. I, if you're buying a, a brand new chassis and working with brand new metal, why not? Why not? But Jolene's chassis is a 90 year old chassis with pits all in it, had pits in it. Um, the, the square stock that I use for her body mounts is metal that was dropped off in the dooryard <laughs> that I cut and fortified and welded on there. Um, if if I was going to, if I had brand new metal to start with and, and that sort of stuff, basically, yes, 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 you can. And, and you must admit, the old TIG welder is a lot neater than a MIG welder when you start tacking stuff on, then you start welding stuff. You can make a finer weld. I'm not there, have not got one, have not got into it. I just think that it will slow me down. Um, but yes, there is people that want to make welds to show beautiful welds. Yes, they do. Um, I wasn't going for how the welds look. I was going to get it done. And uh, the way we did Jolene's chassis, I knew that we were going to fill it out. So to run body filler up to a weld and then stop and try to feather it off, it just seemed like a lot of work. So I just kind of, like I said, cheated a little bit, rubbed a little seam here, it made it smoother. But you're more than welcome to buy brand new metal and make the best weld you can and paint it. Yes, you can. And it, it's not always that way sometimes. Sometimes you're in a position where that weld doesn't look as, the great as it should. And uh, if you start with perfect metal, you have a better chance of getting a perfect weld. We did not start with that. <laughs> also, everything that I did on that chassis, I was fabricating and designing at the same time. Some of the stuff had to be cut back off, put back on, cut back off, oh, put it over here. When you start doing it that way, um, the thinking about the welds, how perfect they are, goes out the door, <laughs> basically. But uh, yes, you can. Yes, you can. And there are, there are people that build chassis that have excellent welds. Um, they're sitting down in a chair, and they do excellent welds. Yes, they do. They're very, you know, you're in a perfect atmosphere. Um, you're not on the floor. You're not on your back. Everything's in a jig. Um, everything's placed exactly right. You get to weld it. That doesn't happen here. I'm laying on the floor, I'm rolling around, I'm welding with upside down, I'm welding on my back, I'm welding on my side. That's the difference. You win a hat or a shirt, J.J. Smith, and you look like you've got a beautiful car on, the, on, your, on your page there, but you win a hat or a shirt, and I'm hoping that your welds are beautiful. I'm checking up on you. That's not true. But anyways, I'm hoping that you do a good job too. You win a hat or shirt of your choice, and uh, I think that that's going to look quite nice on Elvis. Hoping, and it gives me a, it gives me a des desire to paint it, or you know, to get going on it, basically. But we'll do Jolene stuff, and then we'll get going on that, and uh, have a good one, everybody. <laughs>